Parental discretion is advised. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza. The podcasters. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show episode 472. That sounds like the right number. Uh, coming here from Pittsburgh, PA, in the Mayhem Studios. And uh, with us this week, our wonderful menagerie of wrestling fans and pundits. Uh, some experts in the industry, some just experts in their own lives. One of those experts is Papa Lunchbox, joining us hiding behind his pop screen. Hello, everyone. I have to hide the bottom part of my face because I officially became a crime fighter this week. Um, and they sent me the wrong half of the mask. There you go. There you go. Also <laughs> joining us from Johnstown, PA. He's familiar with the flood, so he can relate to the people in Texas. This is Bobby F. J. Town. Um, I was in Pittsburgh this weekend, and I saw a lot of people that resembled Texas at the Kenny Chesney concert. Mm. I didn't go to the concert but I saw a man with a bloody face that I gave him the origin story that a hawk swooped down and hit him in the face just as he, he was drinking. Okay, and the other one, also now familiar with floods in Texas, in Corpus Christi, at least hot off of hanging out with uh, Lance, Hort, Lance Hoyt becoming good buddies at the announce booth, it's Eamon to please on the Twitter, Eamon Payton. Bobby, when you say that you saw people that resemble Texas, are you talking about people from Texas or act like the physical state of Texas? Both. I saw some large people. <laughs> I, I, I would, I would, and I. Well, I was gonna say like the physical, like cut out, like shape, but you said it, not me. Everything's bigger in Texas, and at Kenny Chesney concerts. <laughs> you know, Kenny Chesney was in town, and I literally did not leave my house and just watch tv i like, abandoned the north side yeah they just oh you were in the north side oh it's it's right down the street from me and i left the north side completely i didn't wait come so back. is kenny chesney a big thing in pittsburgh uh, oh yes yeah. they leave mountains yeah. of trash in the parking lot it has terrible it's shitbag fans that yes. just leave shit everywhere they, they 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 everybody bitches about the juggalos fuck that kenny chesney fans <laughs> yeah, they're the they are the hands down the worst people. Yes, who have concerts on the north side. Yes. I have reached my quota of uh, of drunk dads viewing. Yes. Crazy metal bands that come to AJE. The parking lot is spotless afterwards. I am never <laughs> in any neighborhood in any neighborhood in Pittsburgh. Am I worried about being uh, uh, embroiled in an impromptu for no reason fight with somebody? As when there's cowboy hats on the south side. Yep. <laughs> right. This is uh, why Sorg needs to never come to Texas. Uh, <laughs> Sorg sees guys in cowboy hats. He just punches them. So no, <laughs> it happens. It happens. Also with us, who uh, may also may or may not also be an expert in punching people in cowboy hats, is the promoter for the International Wrestling Cartel. It's Justin Plummer. Mmm, pizza's so good, even I eat it. <laughs> that's not. I think no. That's later in the show. That's. It's, oh, oh there. what up? There uh, Justin Plummer, you're hanging out with us. Of course, uh, you were just on Indie Mayhem Show. We talk, had great interviews with Ray Rowe and Dylan Bostic. Super Indie participants. Yes, excellent interviews. Awesome. I'm going to stick with around. With an excellent host. We're talking, and we're going to be talking about a lot of people probably this uh, next hour uh, that are former IWC people. So it, 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 it connects. It's all a big circle of life, like the Lion King. Sure. Um, anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We do talk about wrestling and not just shitbag Kenny Chesney fans. Uh, you can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Follow us on the Facebook, the Google Plus, and the uh, uh, Twitters at Mayhem Show there. And you can also uh, subscribe to us and uh, all the other shows of, of Sorgatron Media, many wrestling shows and Wrestling Mayhem Show Network on iTunes, on YouTube, on Stitcher, Spreaker. Uh, Stitcher, watch out for the Stitcher. has not been updating so well, and you may want to consider a different podcatcher. Just putting that out there if you're a fan. I know a lot of you guys found us on, on, on that platform, but there's some stuff going down. Um, and also, please join us here live at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com every Tuesday, a little later. But we start the wrestling talk in general at 9 p.m. Eastern time. You can join us in the chat room and participate there as well. Uh, hey, uh, also, big thanks to our friends, uh, uh, 
well, of course, Basic Sickness. Uh, BasicSickness.com has been doing music for Wrestling Mayhem Show and Indie Mayhem Show. Uh, check them out. Free Music represents Pittsburgh. Uh, support indie wrestling. Support indie music as well. And, of course, our fa- our friends for, uh, that have supported us on Patreon, our patrons, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. You can become a part of the show, too. You get a state of the show that nobody else gets. I mean, kind of given to these guys that are involved in the show. They should probably know. Um, and also other perks up there. We're going to look at the re- re- redo them. Why are you holding up pizza? What's going on? I thought we were doing sponsors. No, not yet. No, okay. that's later. We, we sprinkle them through the show. So, so it works out there. These, pizza are, ain't gonna eat these itself. are the people that support us. Maybe, maybe IWC support a, a, a <laughs> Patreon supported. Uh, I'm something. flat broke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, thanks to our friends for uh, Zero from the Wrestling Revolution.com. Please go check that out. And our friend Bo Diggity, Ooh. who pays us a dollar an episode so we can do that at the beginning of the show. Sorg. Yes. Sorg. Yes. I may have had an encounter today. What? O- okay. I may have run across a certain uh, oh, Bo Diggity. No, no. A lot Bo Diggity appeared? In downtown Pittsburgh. Did you catch him? It was it was weird. He was riding a tiger. <laughs> he was uh, uh, like on the front of the tiger was a nude man with like a Mad Max kind of face mask going on. Now I'm listening. And, uh, he was uh, he was like swinging a scimitar and he had a big like twelve inch sub in his left hand. It was really strange, um, but it was good to see him. I haven't seen him in a while, so that's his lunch break. We chatted for a little while. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yes, I hear he's he's around a bit more and close, uh, close by you. Uh, where are you sleeping? Uh, anyways, uh, so let, sleeping? Let's, let's get into it. Our first topic of the week, you guys, if you're following us on Twitter, on Facebook, we put this out and we got some thoughts from you guys actually on, on a few of these. Topic one, State of the Shield. This is for you, Jen Carlins. Uh, one year later, uh, she let us know, I believe this very day, if I'm not mistaken, the Shield broke up. Uh, Seth sad. Rollins took the chair uh. to, took the chair to, uh, to, to, to poor Dean and, 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 and uh, Roman. And uh, it's been a year of the Shield doing what they do on their own for the most part in WWE. So how are they doing as single wrestlers? Are we happy about this still? Do we wish our Shield would have returned to us by now? Are we? Are we? Are we? What do we think? How? How do you give? How do you grade the Shield's uh, breakup uh, and moving on so far? I, I do savor the days of the Shield again. Uh-huh. Just because they were one of the one of the very special things that doesn't happen all that often, I feel. As mm-hmm. far as important things in wrestling go, they were such a commodity and such a great unit um, of, of wrestlers. Uh, not just because of who they were, but because of the fact that they worked together so well and, and they, they constantly delivered. Um, as far as grading their singles performances a year later... Um, if I want to look at not, I don't know if grading them, I'm just gonna, like I guess ranking them in a sense. Obviously, Seth Rollins is at the top. Uh, I think not just because he's WWE champion, but because his work has has stood up, and he has been you know the company has been on his back, and he has been you know especially you know with Brock Lesnar's reign when he was gone, you know the focus was on Seth, and um, I, I think that that was really you know I think he rose to the occasion. Um, and Jen Carlin is not going to like me for this, but the second would be Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever you want to hmm. say about Roman, uh, I, I do feel like Roman has put on some good performances, and uh, he has a lot of potential. I, I think he has, you know, he he's made and and he's really secured himself. Uh, I, I just and again, this is from what I judge them, how I feel about their progression. Um, Dean Ambrose does come in third for me from the fact that while this past few months he has been getting, you know, a bit more of a focus and, and has been put in the heavyweight title scene. Um, some of those months after were really bad for Dean. Mm-hmm. They, he, you know, some of the comedy stuff that he just didn't need and, and, you know, the feud with Bray Wyatt that just went nowhere. Exploding and television. Exploding televisions and ambulance matches and, it was not. It was not playing to Dean's strengths. Do you um, think he's doing better now with that? I do. 
I do think he sometimes falls back into that, but I think when he can just be in a serious angle, it works. Mm-hmm. Because I, I don't like comedy Dean Ambrose mm-hmm. because it's it's too heavy-handed, um, in my opinion. Um, but when he gets to talk and he gets to sell, you know, he gets to talk people into the building, he can do that so well. And that's what he did so well in The Shield. Um, I'm just glad he's getting the focus now. And, and getting to be in a heavyweight title picture, which he should have been in. Um, I feel like they, after the Rollins, his short feud with Rollins in of, of last year, they really, I think, dropped the ball with him. Mm-hmm. Um, but look, hopefully he'll be picking up steam soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Justin Plummer. <laughs> Can I, go on a 60 mi- can I go on a 60 minute drunken rant about how much I hate this? <laughs> <laughs> So good, I'll eat it. Listen, <laughs> I hated the fact that Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose just decided to pretend each other didn't exist for six months. That was a killer. You have mm-hmm. this 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 faction that's so popular and so interesting. Yeah. Finally, something interesting on Monday nights, and how there's all this social it's like who's looking at social media out there somebody look everyone's speculating who's going to be the new third member who's going to be the new third member do something with it give them a damn third member even if they don't last but it's just like the shield just went away mm-hmm. they just they you know they they had a guy turn on them and then they disappeared and i i it just was disinteresting it's like here they are under attack by the authority. Why aren't these guys teaming up? I know they have a little bit, and they are a little bit more now, but it's been a year. Uh, I wish they would have thrown someone else in the mix um, from the get-go. But um, if for our live, for our viewers on the uh, screen, Sorg, if you pull up the Seth Rollins penis pictures, and that was a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. There they are for our viewers that are watching. No, Sorg no, pulled no, them up. No, we're not that kind of show. We're not on Pornhub yet. Uh, Papa Lunchbox, what do you think about the Shield so far? Uh, I agree uh, mostly with what Eamon said. I think uh, Seth Rollins has done the best because he has been accepted by both um, both the fans um, as a you know effective heel and as also um, he's not uh, he doesn't seem to be getting crapped on by anybody, uh, which is nice to see. Um, Roman is Roman. The fans don't like him because they have to hate somebody. Mm-hmm. And why not the really good-looking guy? Um, and, uh, yeah, Dean has just kind of been – he does whatever. He's just kind of distractedly moved from feud to feud. And uh, if if I had to answer quickly who he feuded with uh, since the Shield broke up, I would say Bray Wyatt, and I don't remember any of the other ones. Remember when he was feuding with Wade Barrett and then that didn't end in any conclusion? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I really genuinely don't. Um, who else? I, I, I really can't remember anybody. And then, then there was just the Rollins feud immediately mm-hmm. after. Who did he, he was, no, he was feuding with someone right before Bray Oh, Wyatt. Luke Harper. Luke Harper. No, was That's that right. Well, yeah, it was Luke was, Harper. No, who was he fighting in the cage when the... That, when, that, was, Seth, that was Seth Rollins. Seth, Seth Rollins. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah, because he had Luke Harper for a while, years. and they both wore yeah. the same wife beater, and it was really kind of weird. Mm, yeah. 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 So, uh, hey, we got some feedback uh, online when we put this question out before, and actually, the guys in the chat room are are, are, are chiming in on this as well. Uh, so, 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 who are they doing? Uh, how are they doing? Kyle there on the on the Facebook says uh, Rollins, Reigns, Ambrose in that order. Uh, reason for that order: Rollins capturing the title as well as uh, putting on great matches with Cena and Lesnar. Reigns is second best because of winning the Rumble and main eventing WrestleMania. If uh, asked later on, I would say there's a very high chance Ambrose takes a second spot by the end of the year and be pushing for the top of that order so uh, if you go by that i mean i mean they've had you know the spots uh, seth, uh, seth is easily the best out of any of them because he yeah. has basically carried shows on his back at this point like shows where the guy he's he's go- he's going against like say cena brock lesnar are not there especially on the smackdowns where it's been the seth rollins show actually it has been like the shield show for uh almost a year now uh roman's, and, roman's and, getting better though no, and, and, yeah, Roman is getting along. better. Right? They're, re- yeah. they're kind of relaunching uh, uh, Roman. Uh, the, Roman still feels like the guy that, that didn't let go. Mm-hmm. Well, you know? The best thing, I think, to happen to Roman 
was when Brock Lesnar beat the crap out of him at WrestleMania, and he just smiled and laughed mm -hmm. while yeah. he was doing that. that was that's good that's stuff. what that's what he needs to do, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, just he's getting better on the mic, yeah, but still the silent, you know, that he, he was the silent enforcer of the Shield. Right. WWE so, though, I, they're still falling into that like stack the deck against. They're falling into the John, not to be a dick about it, but the John Cena thing where it's like stack the deck against him because it's going to make him look strong or whatever. He lost three or won three times last night. Yeah, that was <laughs> three that different one, three yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. But but you know, make him look strong is kind of typical booking, and they're like, well, it worked for him all these years. Nobody's booing him. Oh, uh, yeah, for worse friends. Uh, Mad Mike's in the chat. Uh, uh, I mentioned this as well. Uh, Roman has not progressed that much. He's still kind of doing uh, the same thing now he was back then. He's the third guy in six-man tags and speaks less now and believes things. Okay. Okay. I'm glad it, it really kind of let up on the believe that a little bit, at least, thankfully. I, I, like, him I, I like him as Dean Ambrose's Samoan buddy. Yeah. like that, That's my favorite role for him right now. Fit. Yeah, it I, is. I think that's... Plumber makes a Plumber makes a really good point. The fact that when the Shield broke up, they should have played off the fact that Roman and Dean were still close friends. Right. They're just kind of mentioning that now. And I, like, and why, I, and I, like and why? Why was why was when the Seth turn? Why the Seth turn happened? Roman Reigns went to do whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and, and and I don't know. It's because I buy because the, uh, the the destruction of the Shield and there's those scenes of uh, uh, Seth, uh, I'm sorry, Dean and, and Roman uh, backstage just kind of budding around. Uh, but I, I just buy them as like, yeah, I can see those guys having a beer together and, and doing whatever and, and, and making fun of Seth, you know, and on, uh, it's a call him Justin Beaver because it's stupid. I don't know. You know, it's Justin uh, Bieber, not Beaver uh, Beaver. I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. troll. Oh, don't don't that don't your new Twitter followers. Plumber. <laughs> that, that's true, too. I gained one since we started this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dylan Bostic, for that for the retweets. Uh, <laughs> I think we've got a couple from that too. Um, but also, uh, Mike is saying also they now have uh, merch that shows their initials, which is just weird. Really? Right, right. I will say I will say they've oh, all delivered in a sense of of WWE's delivered in a sense that they are I think big sellers. Yes. yes. Like Dean Ambrose mm -hmm. matches and like I would say has these heavy in like merch sales. Every like, one of them has fans. Yeah, mm -hmm. like every way, like the like the the Shield fans sectioned out and picked their favorite Shield member, Hi Jen Carlins, um, <laughs> and and have just completely, and it's worked, I think, on all those guys. So it, I, nobody, you know, typically there's a Marty Jannetty in a tag team or even a three way like this. You know, yeah. uh, there's a Ted DiBiase to a Cody Rhodes, for instance, right? Um, there's no Marty Jannetty in the Shield. Who's the Marty Jannetty in this basement right now? In this basement. <laughs> Uh, it's that I, I don't know. I don't own a wrestling promotion, so I think it's uh, as far as that goes. I think you yes. win this one. Um, I knew but, money could buy me something. <laughs> there it, you go. As far, let me just add. As far as I'm getting back together, I would be more willing to see the uh, Wyatt family back together than the Shield. I'd be uh, more excited. Yes, yes, they can. That, that, yeah. that was the bigger mistake. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, poor, C. poor Rowan was a uh, was the Marty Jannetty of that. Mister No, Mister No Reaction. <laughs> I yeah, just got <laughs> those guys up and just had no no plan for them whatsoever. No, no, nope. no. Hey, hey, let's There's give you this gimmick that somewhere. that's let's give you this gimmick that's specific for this faction, and let's split up this faction. <laughs> mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Harper, you have crazy eyes. Let's make a whole wall of them behind you. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, the, at least we don't get the eyes thing anymore, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but no, let us know your thoughts, and and, and uh, it will be interesting to see uh, as we progress here, especially Money in the Bank. We've, we've all had our thoughts about Money in the Bank. It, it feels like Roman is going to be the star of that one way or another. Um, it, it makes sense. With that com that combination, I, I, everybody else is filler at this point, right? So, are you listening to the stream? You got the stream. It doesn't help. Call or turn down your radio or your cell phone. I just want to make sure this is real and not an experiment. Yes, <laughs> not, like, is it really online? Or are you guys just messing with me, forcing uh, me to eat pizza that, that I shouldn't be having? <laughs> come on, you got to work on your dad bod a little. I know, yeah. There you go. There you go. This shirt will come off by the end of the show. No, that's okay. That's okay. I've had a dad bod since I was a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jeez, on that note, speaking of, what do we promote at this point? Hey, indie wrestling. That's a good idea. Uh, PittsburghWrestling.com. We got so many titles. Uh, more specifically, IWC stuff. Hey, how great was the dance? Ooh, it was really great. Surprise twist at the end, huh? We got to see Justin Labar get his ass kicked by Tommy Dreamer, which is always entertaining. Ass kicked by somebody uh, else's leg. And a, and a prosthetic leg. Yes. Yes. Uh, so definitely pick that one up. Uh, we really never have major show, major events like that in in that month, but we did. Uh, May is not typically a big month. We went full throttle. So if you weren't there, pick it up, check it out. That wasn't the only match. We we really loaded that card up. So mm-hmm. hopefully everyone gets a chance to check it out. Yeah, and of course Dylan Dylan Bostic that was uh, just on the Indie Mayhem show against Keith Hodd as a part of that, and uh, a lot of great uh, Super Indie qualifiers. And Space Monkey was a thing. Space Monkey, you heard me right. Bobby has some thoughts on Space yep. Monkey and what should happen there. Yep. Uh, they let you know about last show, but uh, <laughs> right, Bobby? Yes, I did. Yes. Um, but no, check that out. Everything else, digital downloads, you get individual matches of the IWC shows and so much f- more, uh, including a cool documentaries like Finding Zach Gowan. Hey, when's Zach Gowan come to IWC? I'm still t- asking you the tough questions. Sometime soon. Stay Some, tuned. Ah. Someday. Someday. He's coming in that package with the women's wrestling, right? I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hear it after this one. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, PittsburghWrestling.com, and, and it's coming soon, a, a relaunch of IndieWrestling.us. We have some we're gonna have some fun stuff planned for that and, uh, and so much more. And other projects that are coming from the deranged mind of, uh, of Joe Dombrowski that may have gotten a mention on Cole Cabana's podcast last week. Uh, so... If, you, if you've been catching up, if you've been uh, listening and uh, about what we've been posting up uh, uh, around, you kind of have an idea what's coming. And uh, we'll talk at that, uh, about that at length when that comes out here in a couple months. But anyways, obscurity, mystery. Um, anyways, let's talk about something that's not a mystery. Uh, the uh, uh, reoccurring Wednesday night war that's that's coming up here. Uh, we It's been a debate. And we're. I think I don't know if we have a plan. I don't know what you guys are doing on Thursday nights. But there are now... There is now five hours of wrestling happening on Wednesday night alone. It is the Wednesday night wars. We 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 really kind of called this a few a few uh, uh, months ago, maybe a year ago, I guess. Um, and we have, of course, NXT Lucha Underground has been killing it and really making waves. Um, I did see alumni in there, Lucha, uh, uh, Mr. Mac Cross under a mask, uh, supposedly, maybe. Could be could resembles. Be, might be. I don't Looks know. Like that beard. That beard, that beard is crazy. You know. So who I else? I think has I that? saw that guy on. Uh, yeah, he was on the American Ninja Warrior too. So I don't yeah. know. Matt Striker. You know. Hey, he's a guy. <laughs> he is a guy. He's a guy. <laughs> he's a guy. You know. Took on Andrew Palace. I her, think. In Super I think Indie Champion. Uh, but no. And, and of course, uh, Impact Wrestling moving to Wednesday this week, and now Ring of Honor, now in prime time, is not a new show. It is a show that you see if you currently get it. I get it here in Pittsburgh. I can see it at 11 o'clock on Sunday nights. I think it's on another time as well. Um, but for our friends, I think Mad Mike up in Poughkeepsie, he, I don't think he got it in that market. A lot of people don't get Ring of Honor on their television. And maybe they still don't, depending on their cable system. But a lot more will because of this move. Much like, I, I'd say if you get Lynch Underground, you're going to probably get a Ring of Honor at this point. Right? Uh, which is great because you're the right demographic. Um what do you guys? What are your initial reactions to this? It's it's interesting. Uh, obviously, we knew things were growing. Obviously, with uh, just just the moves with TNA and stuff like that. The Ring of Honor thing came out of complete nowhere mm-hmm. and and shocked a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, this is it's going to be interesting. Like I said, I don't know how we're going to cover all of it. Um, there's some quality stuff on 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 that lineup though. Um, and some knots, not going to get into that. Um, <clears throat> but no, I'm excited. Uh, more wrestling is good wrestling. And even if this isn't in the smallest bit, you know, allowing companies to be competitive with, with one another, then the better, mm-hmm. because that just creates a better product. I don't know if WWE necessarily looks at this as a competition standpoint, because I don't think, you know, they, no. you know, consider no. nxt being in on the same day as these shows really that to big be, of a deal to be honest uh more people will have access i think to impact and ring of honor and lucha uh individually 
then people can watch NXT. That's true. Because I think you're, you look at the subscriber base and the potential subscriber base and reach of, of those networks, more people can watch and probably will watch those other programs. Mm-hmm. So, I... Uh, LB, uh, especially you, uh, with the recent Samoa Joe excitedness, and you're you're one of the guys that brought Ring of, Ring of Honor, uh, of all things, to our attention back in the day on this show. Uh, what do you think about this kind of rise of them into a actual primetime spot? Uh, I'm into it. Um, I <laughs> I canceled my WWE network, and um, I'm going to get another free month. That's exciting <laughs> for me. <laughs> Yeah, well, then I that. feel like I've been getting ripped off. Yeah, a little worst. bit, doesn't yeah. it? You know? oh, all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I, I hey, like I just got my Hulkamania t-shirt. t-shirt in the mail from the coupon they sent me. So, what? Hey. Whoa, what? It's coupon? I don't read my emails. Yeah, like, back in like February. Yeah. Take a look at it, man. Damn, you get a coupon email. code for like 25 bucks in WWE shop. I paid five bucks. I got a Hulkamania t-shirt that I wanted since I was five. Wow, it was damn. great. I, I, I totally respect everybody who's had the network from the beginning. I've had it off and on, and I've gotten four, five, maybe even six free months at this point. Mm. <laughs> a lot. It's been a lot of free months. Um, and you know, whenever I get a free month, I stick around. I pay for the next month after that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, not when they're in succession. No, if if I hadn't canceled it this month and had oh, left okay. it, I wouldn't get the next free month automatically. There was, but there since I did cancel it, I can just get that next free month. <laughs> See, my problem free is I can't fall right. asleep without it on my TV. That's so <laughs> I have to have it. Like, I'll be like, oh, SummerSlam 92. And I'm out. And it takes me like six months to watch SummerSlam 92. Yeah, but yeah, it's like my yeah, my yeah. Ba- I should have answered that in the last show. That's the wrestling <laughs> I watched. Early 90s. It, WWE, it also, SummerSlam 92. <laughs> It's also a really smart move in WWE's case when the final day of the free trial of last month is your pay-per-view day, and it's also the day that somebody is working a wrestling show. <laughs> so, yeah. You're going to hear about this forever. I, I am upset. <laughs> until they do it next month. When we yeah. get uh, surprise, we're going to have the wrestling classic, or we're going to have Tuesday in Texas. Uh, I guess that wouldn't work, but um, mm-hmm. but yeah. Yeah, yeah. What else are they going to resurrect? Here comes Cyber Sunday. Sorry, uh, LB. Tuesday. <laughs> Here's the thing about canceling the network, though. Oh. Like, you don't have to wait until five minutes after the last pay per view on the last day. To, like, I canceled it in the middle of the month, and I it, it let oh, you keep right. it until the end of the month. That's true. Oh. You don't have to be sneaky about it. You can just sign up, have it for a little bit, and cancel it, and then so, watch well, it. For see, the rest. some of us faithful WWE networkers that haven't played this dance. Uh, yeah. don't, don't know these little tricks. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, there's only one person who's gone full dance, and that is Matt Carlin. What? I canceled mine to save money. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. I've had it since day one. I took a day off on the first day. <laughs> <laughs> I can then you couldn't I watch a single any... minute of it. <laughs> That's because I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby. oh, Bobby. It's okay, Bobby. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, Bobby. Sorry no myself. sorries. No sorries. Anyways. Back to the topic, though. And we actually have a little bit of feedback here uh, uh, from everybody on, on this, uh, too, uh, But which I'll bring up in a moment because I did not cue that. Uh, but Oh, no, actually. No, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Nope. Nope. Oh, there we go. Uh, Riz says... Uh, no, that, that's not about that. I love that's this not, so much. Not prepared, not prepared. Uh, more thoughts. Uh, Bo- Bobby, what do you think about the Wednesday Wars? Um, I'm excited for ROH, even though I can watch it on Sunday or Saturday or whenever I can watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm probably going to watch it again on Wednesday. Um, so- after NXT, of course. I'll watch NXT first. And, but I don't, I don't have El Rey Network uh, mm-hmm. like some other people do. Uh, but I have been catching up on uh, Lucha Underground. I'm up to episode 12, I think. So straight, I'll, Bobby. I'll be there soon. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's good stuff. Um, TNA, I, I could give a crap about. Yeah. The, the most exciting thing, the first thing I saw that, consensus. like, I was like, it was shocked. But to see, like, like the third picture I saw was, was Dalton Castle 
on <laughs> on one of those pictures for Destination America. <laughs> but then you find out I, they made one for everybody. Yeah, but it's even the, the referees. But still, that that he, that he was included because no, yeah. I, I didn't know if he was like a regular regular yet. Mm-hmm. There, I knew he was popping up a bit, and, and it's always like I'm never really sure if they're just like guys kind of giving it a shot here and there, a jobber. And I actually keep missing the ones that he's on so i didn't know how how next week on there. next week which means i'll definitely not get to watching that one <laughs> um but you know, that, that's my question honest. my question is, is when it's playing on destination america are we still going to get those super beta prostate ads Duh, they're not doing those anymore but God, jay lethal it. jay lethal will sell you a knee brace even though you don't need one <laughs> that's what we has got the best sponsors though <laughs> <laughs> well they got classic syndication sponsors Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's it's that it's like I had I was just wanted to take a nap earlier today. So I put on whatever because I get over the air channels and there's some new another channel that shows like movies from the 30s. And uh, there was like a five minute commercial about some kind of sweeper or something. And I'm just like, is this thing still on? You know, and like, you watch <laughs> you watch it the whole time. I mean, no, I was trying to take a nap and I was like, I got to put the TV on something black and white. This looks boring and this works. Uh, then there was a guy yelling at me like Billy Mays. Well, about, about why my floor is dirty. Oh, I, I, he's Billy right. And I know he's right. And I should buy the damn thing. But still, um, <laughs> I mean, but that's the audience they're going for when they when they do the syndication thing, you know, and, and that's the kind of advertisers you get. You know, it's kind of like you go to podcast one and listen to Stone Cold's podcast and everybody's doing the same the same stuff. They're they're selling you uh, uh, penis pills, audible.com. Pe- penis Gimmicks. pills, audible, uh, 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 help you out of your parking ticket or your your, your speeding ticket uh, stuff and or whatever. What whatever it is. Right like it's all the same stuff. It's this bulk package stuff that they get to sell. And it's the lowest common denominator denominator thing you know versus you know, that reminds me sorg i'd like to take a minute to talk to you about the fine folks over at the petri wine <laughs> <laughs> the family that took time to bring you good wine there you go there you go unique also, sponsorships around here at least also stamps.com slash wtf <laughs> <laughs> You do not – no, you do not give anything to Mark Maron. Mark Maron is doing fine, okay? Now as we, much as he complains, talk, he is doing talk, fine, okay? We, we do not need our way. help. How we all have a special connection with Stamps.com, which every podcaster apparently has and totally – they want to do this advertisement. They're not getting paid to do it. That's you right. You don't have time to go to the post office. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know about you, but I like to get my glasses from Warby Parker. Warby <laughs> Parker has fun. I once went to the post office get... and I regretted every minute. We're going to get free stamps. You know what? I like podcasting, and I'm sure I'm going to like uh, 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 books, uh, uh, audio books. It's just like podcasts, except I spend money on it. Um, we have gone <laughs> off tangent. That's okay. That's you can okay. go on tangent at HostGator. <laughs> I'm sorry. I put my sites at squarespace.com. Okay, we've done oh, away. Right, None yeah. of them pay us, but they probably should have by now. Uh, anyways, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, Wednesday Night yeah. War, it's happening. Okay, last question on this, and we'll move on. And hopefully, I'll actually queued up this email that I, I was about to read. Um, do you think this will help impact Step Up? No. Nope. No. Damn it. You need to give me more time to prepare to, this thing. They Absolutely. Need to figure out, they need to figure out how to help their social media first. Yo. Okay, okay. Uh, a tweet like at TNA was the best thing from Monday night. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, can, uh, can somebody explain what tweet like TNA was real quick? So TNA uh, loves to be on the cusp of trends. Because mm-hmm. uh, of course they do. Because Billy Horgan loves that. Um, and, and there were a couple of the roster members that made tweets uh, hyping some of their storylines. Some in some in weird ways, some in totally uncool, really transphobic ways, uh, using the Caitlyn Jenner uh, story, and it inspired hashtag tweets like TN, tweet like TNA, which is basically just take a a a a important or disastrous or something like that event in America or the awkward. world, yeah, and use it to hype your show. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I think IWC needs to take on this, th- this strategy with I've their tried. social media. You've tried it? I've tried that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've actually sent in something out with uh, Caitlyn Jenner's hashtag on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if I can be a part of this anymore. <laughs> um, but, okay, we got, we got some, uh, we got some uh, feedback here from uh, Alex Cars wanted to write in on this topic. Uh, we live in a truly weird world of wrestling, am I right? Uh, one where Samoa freaking Joe signs with WWE and AJ Styles is one of the biggest things going on in Japan. What does that say about TNA? I'm super excited about ROH being on Destination America. It's the uh, greatest televised wrestling news since I found out my cable company started carrying El Rey. I get to watch ROH on TV now. Another one that just didn't have it in, in their location. You know, there's a lot of markets out there. Um, in, in this weird state of wrestling, is there anything that can't happen? Discuss. Is there it, really at this point that, that we're having a? Pro, it's interesting that Destination America says, "Well, we like wrestling so much, we're going to have two promotions." In a world where Spike TV uh, uh, lost WWE but gained TNA, you couldn't have the both. Or WWE came into then TNN and EW uh, EW. Jeez, ECW had to get killed off, right? <laughs> in order for that to happen. In, order to in, in, fair, in fairness, there's a chance that could happen with Destination America. <laughs> there is a chance that yeah. could happen. There's the rumors that were going around, like we discussed last week, that they may be canceled in, in September. Um, and ECW maybe, was on there while WWE came in, didn't they? Weren't yeah. They? Yeah. They, they, were, they were on there while they signed, and they, they just killed it off. And oh, that okay. was the last straw for financially for uh, ECW. Yeah, ECW. Um, uh, 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 Heyman <laughs> discusses that, I think, on his documentary, and I can't remember which podcast he discusses that at length about exactly what happened. But anyways. Um, but uh, thanks for that. Uh, and a, a big big plug here. Power to the smarts.com for Alex Cars and all he's doing over there. Uh, so on that note, speaking of advertisements, uh, Justin Plummer, you've been checking it out. Slice us on Broadway.com. Our You're good too damn friends. Late. Oh, no, no, it's late. gone. Oh, no. I went, you can't let me sit here for 20 minutes. I'm sorry, that. man. It was good. You know, this is what gets you back in the studio. That means you're definitely coming back in studio next it's week. the only Brandy reason Mayhem. I came. There Slice you go. on Broadway. It's like sex in your mouth. Ice on Broadway right up here. Good friends on the tracks here in Beachview, PA. Be- no, Beachview is a neighborhood. I want people to do that. It's a neighborhood in Pittsburgh, PA. Damn it. Um, but anyways, uh, uh, they've been supporting the show for well over a year, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with great pepperoni pizza. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, they're great. Uh, there are people in San Antonio putting rings together, talking about slice on Broadway. That's true. This is, this has been reported back to me. This is, that's fantastic. Amen. Yes. Would you like to <laughs> elaborate on that? Any? Sure. Oh, okay. I thought you, I thought we already said it. We're trying to do a bit here. No, uh, uh, I, I found out that the local uh, independent wrestling student, uh, uh, one Rod, uh, listens to the show. So, hi, Rod. Uh, uh, keep uh, talking about Slice on Broadway. The, the minute he mentioned that, I was like, okay, he's not just bullshitting me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Awesome. It's awesome. And we are working an awesome cast. Uh, we were discussing a new business opportunity to deliver Slice on Broadway to the 48 contiguous states. So listen to that. Uh, maybe we'll post it here later. This, this, Involving uh, stamps.com. And it doesn't, maybe we we'll get stamps.com in on it. It'll be great. But in the meantime, you're going to have to come to Pittsburgh here in the South Hills or in Carnegie, PA. If you're heading out to the airport and you're finding your way through the construction, uh, they're there. It's great pizza, fresh ingredients. They make it in the shape of Hello Kitties. So next time, I think we're going to go for my birthday, and I want to see if we can get a Hulk Hogan-shaped pie, maybe, of some sort going on there. Right? Do the, do the pose. There you go. Mm, brother uh so check them out slice on broadway.com my friends uh, they're also on facebook they're also on the instagrams pjh underscore slice do you want the slice on broadway do you want them to mail you a slice of slice oh, on broadway damn instagram what is slice it just... on broadway just look for slice on broadway on there buddy. is it just pictures of pizza it's pictures of pizza <laughs> it's pictures of awesomeness there's a video of the owner falling off a ladder if you look for it well that's that incredible. happens too that's a bonus but um, there you pizza, go. Pizza in the bank. Pizza in the bank match. There you go. That's how hardcore they are. The, hardcore, <laughs> the most hardcore pizza place you're going to check out. And they've been supporting the show, supporting back. Um, on that note, we'll come back with a big question. Some people may have surprised the, uh, survived the commercial break. Some may not have. Find out when, bro- find out when Big Brother returns. <laughs> this is Raymond Rowe, and you are listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. 
Check it out at awesomecast.net. Hey guys, we've evicted some people off the couch. That's right, Justin Plummer, he is gone. He is gone. But he left us... Oh, this is the part. Maybe this will be for the after show. Uh, he left us this Goldschlager, so that's why I got all... That's why I'm asking the tough questions tonight. Uh, anyways, that means he'll be back. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, it is time for the biggest of big questions, and one DJ Lunchbox has those. He's the proprietor of the big questions. He is the deliverer of the big questions, and he has one for us in his pocket, ready to expose. It's true. It's true. I do have a big question, uh, and it is inspired by an email we received this week from Alex Cars. Mm. Uh, and he was talking about how crazy wrestling is right now. All these crazy things, Smojos and WWE, and it got me to thinking. Because they're, they're, for a while, okay, let me relate this to comics. There used to be a list in comics. And a list was characters who are dead that always that have to stay dead. Mm-hmm. You don't bring back Aunt May, and you don't bring back Bucky. And there was a third person. I don't remember who it is. Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy. Yeah, you're right. That was yeah. another one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think um, you meant Uncle Ben, though, not Aunt May. Colossus one, too. Oh, did I say Aunt May? Yeah. I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep it straight. You're right. It is It is Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben stays dead. And uh, as of right now, Uncle Ben is the only one who has continued to stay dead because these lists are made to be broken. And Depends that, on what book you read. There was Hey, shut up. There was a list of things <laughs> in wrestling that were – impossible they were just not going to happen um but they are all happening all over the place now bruno san martino is friends with the wwe again the macho man is in the hall of fame bret hart made up with vince mcmahon and had a wrestlemania match against him it's insane so my big question this week i dropped my spider webbing my big question this week is what's left what is left from that impossible wrestling list that that uh, hasn't happened yet, and what is the next thing that's going to happen? What's the next completely insane, implausible thing that's going to happen? I got this. I got this. got this. The NWA will rise to prominence again. <laughs> oh, sorry. That, wait, wait. Is that, is that, that never going to happen or the thing that's next going to happen? Uh, <laughs> I was going to say that it will never happen in our lifetimes. Okay. I, I, it's the only thing that has not been properly bought by WWE that is still floundering out there to points. And and I won't uh, question certain people on this panel to to mention about their status right now. <laughs> um, Bobby. Not, no, not Bobby. But, um, uh, Bobby's but, NWA heavyweight world champion right now. Yeah, if you didn't know that, and Bobby kicks Bobby kicks the Toshi Kojima's ass. Bobby, Bobby, yeah. tell us about the state and your your run as the NWA world heavyweight champion. Well, um, uh, Dr. Dre still around. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think he misunderstood my answer, but still. Uh, <laughs> Bobby's got attitude. Well, I, I, yes, he does. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, oh geez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not even touching that Bobby. Shit. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about Bobby. Uh, anyways, uh, Wheels, you're with us. Uh, do you have one? Oh, man. Hot, Wheel, Hot Wheels RWA okay. on the Twitter as he's joining us here on the second half. He's been voted into the house. Haha. <laughs> I am a have this week. What? Previously on the Wrestling Mayhem show, my answer would probably be... Oh, man. This is a tough question. Good job, LB. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, Honestly... AJ Styles going back to TNA. Going back? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Yeah, that won't happen. Uh, yeah, they just exactly. did they just announced that he he, he just yep. denied the Hall of Fame, right? Yes. So yeah, I guess that's that's correct. Uh, and I got to say, okay, so we did that interview. We, there's a DVD that released uh, I released with Joe Dabrowski. Uh, AJ Styles and Missing Matches, and we have interview with him that I filmed, and he is yeah he does not like TNA. He's very unhappy with TNA. 
uh, in general. And, and, he and has joined the rest like, of us. Like very much like is like, I don't know what their problem was. And, and I got the sense that he feels like it was a waste of time. His time there uh, was, was my consensus from, from the interview. Uh, spoilers, uh, please buy, please buy it at Pittsburgh wrestling.com. Uh, great matches in there. Uh, but, uh, but, but no, I, 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 I I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. So yeah. do you think he'll be in WWE? Do you think maybe he'll be the NXT guy? I could see him going to NXT. Yeah. Could you? I could honestly could see him thriving there and then immediately hitting the main roster. I think Joe, I could see some eight, I could see some Adrian Neville, AJ Styles oh. matches that would like kill. Jeez, I, you know, I, I think guys, Joe, guys. If Samoa Joe is going to be the test bed for this. If he can do something amazing, because he's a guy that I didn't think WWE would do something with. Like, he just seemed like not their guy. But then again, we have a, not, a lot of not their guys. Uh, Mike, you had something? Uh, yeah, um, I, I've said before. I'm still going with my prediction that AJ Styles is going to be in the Rumble. And uh, I talked to my buddy uh, who I was watching Elimination Chamber with this week, and I told him this. He's like, where is the Rumble next year? And uh, guess where it is, guys? Japan. Nope. (laughs) PNA's Backyard, Orlando, Florida. Oh. So uh, if you want to have AJ Styles as a surprise entrant in the Rumble, that is the place to do it. Really? I feel like if if AJ is going to go to the WWE, now's the time to do it. That's true. He, he can still go in the ring, but he can barely walk outside of the ring. You know, he's he's coming up on his 40s, and, you know, he's pretty beat up. Joe's coming up on his 40s as well, and I feel like he's getting in while the getting's good. Mm-hmm. I, and and we kind of talked about this on the Indie Mayhem show with some other wrestlers, uh, some, some wrestlers that team with AJ Styles, actually. Um, the, I think the big question is, does he need it? Um, will his stuff in New Japan and will the stuff that he's been doing nowadays be enough? You know, the, there is a question of is WWE the be all end all anymore? Um, not not to be like a you know yeah the indies boo WWE thing, but it's a it's a thing wrestlers consider. Some wrestlers consider the fact that hey sometimes I can make more money elsewhere. Right, right, you know? right. And and like you said, if he's re- approaching a point where it's either do or die, maybe he decides you know what I can I don't have to do this. You know. Mm-hmm. Who was that we talked about? You, you're allowed to name. It was the, I am sorry. It was the Young Bucks. The Young was, Bucks. Were, the Young Bucks were outspoken of the fact that it's like, oh, hey, oh, we oh, work, right. yeah, we work new. Japan I'm like, who did we, we interview that teamed with them? But <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 that was, be, no, that was that was no, that was discussion because that came from the, the three, that yeah. came from the Rolling Stones article from a few weeks ago. Uh, right. That we that we talked about. It. I think it was like it was like two weeks ago. We 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 talked about that. So uh, at, at length, actually. So it was interesting. I I got an answer to the question. Okay, Bobby. Vince McMahon retiring. Ooh. Well, <laughs> retiring or retiring. Stepping, stepping away from it. You don't. You like. Are, are you, so? Are we in the consensus? We don't think he will act ever actively nope. retire. Nope. Until like he dies. He, I, I think he's, he's. They're gonna have to take him out in a box. Some something something tragic would have to happen for it to right. limo explosion. Like yeah. what? Jeez. But it would have to be something debilitating or Alzheimer's or, or something like that, right? That's I, mean, I don't even idea. think that's going to do <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you look at the last few years of wrestling, actually. Yeah, but but if Vince does get Alzheimer's, they can just tell him he's booking. Hulk Hogan's going to be the main event of the send, send him to TNA and make him think like he's doing work. But, you know, have seven plates really run things. Well, there you go. That's, I guess that's true, too. Um, all right. Who, who hasn't gone here? Is that I got mine. Okay, what do you got? Uh, and it was something that was uh, teased uh, last night on the WWE Network. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's Steve Austin wrestling again. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not something yeah. I... It's not necessarily something I want to see because I think there is an appeal to somebody who is retired staying retired. Um, however... But you're also not of the era of the fan of, of a Stone Cold. No, I, 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 I can understand how big it would be. Uh, and I can understand that that would draw a huge and and if their te- if, if if it was in very int- if it was an intentional thing that they did heavily teasing that there could be a Steve Austin Brock Lesnar match, then you know that's money that is absolute money mm-hmm. on the table. But I I there is a side of me that hopes he just stays retired because there's is a 
really nice aspect of that. Just a guy knowing when he's done and, and maybe profiting off of it after he's done, but just knowing when he's done. I'm, I'm not saying I would be against it happening. I'm just saying I, 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 I like the idea of him staying retired. Mm-hmm. But the, the thing about Austin, though, is he never had a retirement match. Yeah. Like no. an official one. And the, the last closest, time, Yeah, the, the closest time, thing was the, the... Oh, I'm sorry. Go, go. No, I was just saying the closest thing was the Rock match at WrestleMania 19. Mm-hmm. But, I was going to say the, la- the last time he was really in like a physical capacity, one of the last times was him stunning Brock Lesnar at mm-hmm. WrestleMania 20. I mean, you know that that could some that could be something that starts, you know, along with the podcast, right? Because I mean, if they bring up Payman's history with the Samoan family, they will have no qualms about bringing up the WrestleMania 20 match. They can mention. Mm-hmm. Certainly, certainly. Um, all right, all right. I think that's everybody, right? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't get mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I also have an answer. Oh, you, um, sure, you're allowed to. Uh, thing, Thanks, bro. <laughs> <you're allowed. laughs> I appreciate that. Um, thing that is yet to happen that probably won't. Uh, Owen Hart in the Hall of Fame. Right. Unfortunately. Right. And thing that has yet to happen that probably will. Sting versus Undertaker. Okay. I'm still standing by this. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, what about you, LB? My answer was going to be. Um, similar is the Vince McMahon thing. Um, the, uh, the, the less likely scenario is the complete collapse of the McMahon empire, including Stephanie and triple H. And, uh, it kind of got me off on a tangent thinking about what wrestling would be like in the United States. If for whatever reason, the McMahon family was out of the picture and WWE crumbled. Um, it's a fun little thought experiment. Uh, most, more likely is, you know, Vince McMahon going away for whatever reason. Hopefully it's for a nicer reason than death. Um, it just like decides to, you know, I'm going to go focus on something else or I'm going to go sleep for a while or I'm going to go lay in my coffin until history forgets me and I can rise again. And start <laughs> a legacy. What about wow. Sean McMahon? <laughs> Sean McMahon, right. He's the Vince one who's about it. He has WrestleMania on the moon, you guys. So oh. That's his goal. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let us know what you think. You'll get RWA's uh, No Retreat 2015, including Tracy Smothers, a great match with Shane, Shane Douglas. No, Shane, Sanjay, <laughs> Shane Andrews and Sanjay Dutt. Great cruiserweight match there. And so much more. That'll be your free download for this. Uh, people participated in last week's question uh, where we asked, would you... Who would you pluck from another time in uh, and to do a run now in NXT that could adapt to the younger style? Chad the Shad, he says uh, that would be Taz. Okay. The, that would be Taz, the human suplex machine. Perfect. And also uh, Mr. DRG, that's Dustin, right? Uh, he says Perry Saturn. His high-flying work and Matt te- te- Technician skills would work amazingly well on the NXT roster. There you go. So it's, I was so I'm, I'm guessing Eliminators era Perry Saturn would 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 Moppy be era. not Moppy area. Let's not do Moppy era. So there <laughs> you go. Uh, they will be getting a best of AJ Styles Volume Two from the IWC. It's a lot of great matches on there as well. Um, so uh, I've heard that's a phenomenal DVD. Story. It's a phenomenal. We have three phenomenal DVDs. There's Volume One, Volume Two, and the missing matches. Go check it out, PittsburghWrestling.com. Hey, something you can check out too. We plugged it. They, hey, yo, you can check out Dylan Bostic for one on uh, Pro Wrestling Tees. That's a thing you can do. Uh, mm-hmm. You can also go to prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS. There's a lot of great stuff there. Great designs by the great Alex Cars, part of the smarks.com. Uh, Property of Mayhem, Good Times, Wrestling Mayhem Show logo. Uh, represent right there. And I believe, is he on there too? Is there a Ray Rowe on here? I don't think there is. Does not look like there is. But there is a Dylan Bostic. We just had him. Wait, maybe the search just doesn't work on here. Uh, but... <laughs> A lot of uh, friends of the show are represented on here. Uh, like I said, Dylan Bostic has got one on here. Uh, guys like Doc Gallows, guys like Dusty Rhodes, friend of somebody on the show. I don't know who. Uh, but uh, 
Is he? They said he had one on here, and I'm not finding it. Did they change this? Is the, are they not listing everybody on the wrestler page? It is getting rather long. Oh, yes, our full line of shirts. They're getting so many, they can't list them anymore. DJZ Ion is on here. Uh, burr, burr, burr. Guys like the Young Bucks that we mentioned before, AJ Styles, and guys and other guys, you know, old school guys that you know, uh, like there's Macho Man shirts, Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, CM Punk, some guy named Phil. Is, on, is represented on here as well. I'm just very excited because I go to the site and, uh, and 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 notice that there's a Papa Shango shirt, apparently. Uh, Chris what? Jericho's on there as well. Yeah, Papa Shango represented here uh, uh, on, on, on the top of... Uh, oh, that'd be great if comment. He just likes like, the, the many faces of, uh, of, uh, of Papa Shango over the years. DDP Yoga, Andre the Giant, so much more. Go check it out. Uh, but start off at ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS to support the show and indie wrestling. So, uh, uh, Mad Mike, mm-hmm. I give you one chance. Hey, guys, one I chance. Go. Uh, good night, Papa Lunchbox. <laughs> good night, I Papa Lunchbox. He can't, take the impact. he can't take the impact report. He can't take it anymore. Uh, I don't play. But we've talked about earlier in the show, and maybe you can chime in a, a, a short bit, please. Uh, your thoughts on the Wednesday Night War and the move for Impact Wrestling, and is you know what, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's an appropriate question here. Well, as far as the Wednesday War goes, um, I will be watching because I don't sleep, so I'm going to watch all five hours on Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. It may kill me. Um, I'll tell you the order that I will be watching things in because it's order of interest. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lucha, NXT, ROH, Impact. Impact is last for obvious reasons because right. I will be tired and cranky. Could and you save my... the best for last, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, uh, sure. Um, but Impact, they had their May Mayhem, which... Uh, they probably owe us a little bit of money for that. At least they would if they were making money. And also maybe a little bit of Vicious Outcast Wrestling as well. Sure. All right. That, yeah. I, I was unaware of that, but yes. So yeah. TNA, stop yeah. ripping off people's shit. Um, they had uh, the the climactic battle between Kurt Angle and Eric Young and in a very, very weak submission. Uh, Kurt Angle wins, by the way. Burr, 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 burr. Um, I, 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 can I just say, I watched the clip of the ending. Mm-hmm. Um, Eric Young's I quit is the most, like, he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yep. He's just yes, like, I it quit. Is. Yes, it is. Uh, which is a shame, because Eric Young has been doing very good work in Impact. I don't mention him often enough, but he is very, very good at his job, as shitty as his job is. Uh, and EC3 is still undefeated, and they have now officially named him number one contender. Thank Christ. So TNA might be getting interesting. Uh, I think the only way it'll impact, I think the next set of tapings that they have, because the stuff that they have now is already in the can. Um, the next set of tapings is really going to determine how they react to ROH and move to Wednesdays and all that stuff. Um, I hope it's good. I've heard rumors that, they will, they will have a live show right before Slammiversary. But I think they're doing tapings after that live show that will air after Slammiversary. So I don't know. I'm not going to read the spoilers, but uh, yeah. it's it's a very frustrating thing with TNA. As far as ROH, uh, I have been outspoken that ROH does not really speak to me. I saw their pay-per-view. It was okay. Um, but I'm going to watch it since I can now on my TV because I will only give watching wrestling on my laptop to NXT. I will not do that for any other company. Um, and Lucha has been great. Uh, Lucha is still the forerunner. And when they leave at, I think the end of August for season one, I'm going to be very, very sad. And I may just start rewatching it from the start again. Um, but I'm doing it could be an yeah. interesting they, experiment. But they, but they haven't officially renewed for a season two. Wait, officially? No. Officially, officially, they've been renewed for a season oh, good. two. They oh, didn't, thank God. They funding. Yes, Dario Cueto beat up enough cholos in Mexico to get season two. I love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, He's um, a ghost. Yeah. 
Bobby, we don't know that yet. Bobby, we don't know if he's a ghost. I think Katrina is more of a ghost than Dario Cueto. Because I've seen Dario Cueto on a cell phone. Well, a guy turned into a dragon. Yes. And a guy w- runs around with a severed deer head. So. And <laughs> there will also be another severed head. I will not tell you where that comes in, but you will see it. Okay. Um, as far as the rest of Impact... Mm, Rockstar Spud is the Exhibition Champion, and they were saying Destination X is coming up soon. There's a great storyline in here, but I don't think TNA is going to pull the trigger on it, which is very disappointing. Mm-hmm. Um, if I was doing this, I would have Rockstar Spud beat Kurt Angle. And I would have Rockstar Spud be the TNA Champion before Ethan Carter. Which I guess may be possible if the if the live taping is the one before is Destination X. I don't think it is, but that's what I would do. Have Rockstar Spud beat EC3 to the TNA title, and then your main event for Slammiversary, Spud versus EC3, which has been the best feud the Impact has had since they started on Destination America. It makes the most sense to me. It, it because the way the feud ended was. Uh, EC3, as disingenuous as he was, telling Spud that he had the potential to be a champion. And it it works on every conceivable level. It's it's a story that writes itself, but TNA isn't interested in stories that write themselves. They're only interested in bad stories. Uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting. I still don't know how we're going to cover it on the midweek war, but it'll be interesting. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot of wrestling. So there you go. There you go. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know how I, I'm having enough trouble trying to catch up with a lot of this stuff. And and but I want to see like all the reaction. And I, I wish I had the time, like even tomorrow, I, I'm finding myself with potentially doing it, having to have a meeting here at seven o'clock. I'm not getting to it. Right. Certainly not live. Um, and and. But there's a lot there's if you can like we talked about on Indie Mayhem show last night or uh, yeah or, or earlier today um, with with uh, Ray Rowe and, and and all the other guys you can find alternatives pretty mm-hmm. easily right now to WWE and even WWE is making their own alternative mm-hmm. that's competing with the other alternatives um, am I right Lucha WWE is NXT and Ring of Honor are all on at the same time right yes. Now, well, I, I mean, NXT you can watch whenever, but the right, first right, run is and even ROH you can say, well, that's a replay from the weekend, anyways. But to a lot of people, that is first run for them. But to you, Mike, that's going to be first run, you know. Yes, it will. But also remember, and I don't know if they're changing this, but if you wait till Thursday, anyways, you can watch Ring of Honor from the week from that week online. Yeah. So, I, I wonder if they're still doing that since they're going to be running on Destination America that night. And also, uh, after Impact, because I went to my uh, DVR to record ROH mm-hmm. for tomorrow night. Yeah. After Impact, they're replaying ROH. That is That's true, true, too. That's true, too. So, so I, mean, I mean, Destination America is not worried about getting those ratings in that first run. They're worried about, they want to spread it out. And that's fine. That's fine by them. And uh, the, I don't know. I, I don't mind that, you know. It, it's not Destination, it's not, Des- it's not Destination TV, necessarily. Um but it's. It, I, I wonder if I wonder if TNA is going to put over ROH, like on the commentary, I, and vice versa, and vice versa actually, because uh, yeah, well, ROH might not. Cause... I sort of doubt it, because um, last I knew they weren't happy with each other, especially ROH is not happy with TNA, and some people. Could. But I think I I just wonder if Destination America might be coercing greasing, them, greasing the just... wheels, or like, hey, yeah, your partners like, play like, nice, like making. ROH throw in a line of ADR like, and after ROH, stay tuned for Impact Wrestling. And then after Impact Wrestling, Josh they, Matthews. I don't think they even insane. need to. They'll just fill it with com- Destination America commercials. And they'll have uh, uh, graphics that'll pop up over TNA and over Ring of Honor for the other show. Mm-hmm. Coming up next. Uh, last week on Impact, they did not have any commercials for Ring of Honor. Okay, well, I I also don't trust Destination America's uh, uh, coordination either. From the oh, you're telling I, me, I so. don't trust them at all because they've literally spoiled episodes of Impact before exactly. they've ended. So. I, I, there's definitely there's definitely a disconnect, and they don't understand pro wrestling, but they like it around. So there you go. Hashtag America. 
Hashtag, Hashtag tweet like, tweet like TNA. There you go. All right. On that note, tell me, guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Sorg, so, don't we have an email? No, we read it. Oh, okay. Um, no, we, we integrated it earlier since it kind of fit the discussion. But um, So what did you guys learn from wrestling this week? And we actually have a lot of commentary from the chat room. Uh, or not the chat room, but the Facebook group uh, on us. So what did you learn, guys? Eamon? Uh, I learned that Kevin Owen hates kids that have cancer. <laughs> and I learned that from John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just combine John Cena and the Price is Right fail horn? It was pretty, oh, it was pretty natural. Yeah, wow. yeah. So, yeah, I don't like to be the guy on the internet that's like, fuck John Cena, but fuck John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Uh, what about you, uh, Bobby? I learned that Roman Reigns can defy all odds, even with uh, glaucoma or whatever eye problems he yeah. had. What? <laughs> what was that all about? He kept messing with his eyes after each of his matches. He was like, every one me. of his matches. My hair grease is getting in my eyes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and honestly, I think that's what it is. It's the hair grease. I, I just think it. I just think it's because his future's so bright, he really should wear shades with oh. his no, Mad Mike, no, what'd you no. learn? I learned that Kevin Owens turned heel on his son. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Kevin Owens hates his own son. That's not true. No, he just hates him. Him. He hates what WWE's fed his son, which is the most accurate thing. Yep. Because I'm sorry, Kevin Owens spoke the fucking truth. It's marketing that is why John Cena is where he is. And that's not a bad thing. It's just mm-hmm. how it is. Mm-hmm. It's, yep. mm-hmm. well, that, but that, I'll, I'll, but Kevin Owens also did say that when now he's been in WWE for six months, he has four shirts. Did yeah. he say that? Did he mention yeah. that? Four shirts. Folks, wow. that's, that's a shirt for per six weeks. <laughs> Wheels, what did you learn? What did I learn? I have learned that... Man, what the hell did I learn? While he's Everybody, thinking, I think, while he's I thinking think about it. I while learned. he's thinking about it from Facebook, a lot of people learn things. Uh, Bobby says stuff and things. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. I did learn stuff and things this week. Alex Cars from out in Cali says he learned that this camp won't let me watch WWE Network. Oh, and fight Owen's fight. So, okay. <laughs> have some internet problems. Uh, Steve says, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns. Dean Ambrose with a side of Roman Reigns. SMH. Uh, Garza says, I learned Impact puts the best shows every time there's news about closing out. But May, May, so May Mayhem was awesome, he says. Uh, Ooh, Matt Carlin. Matt Carlin's <laughs> learned that he has uh, learned. I learned I have a lot of wrestling to watch Wednesday night. Garza also learned that Heyman and Austin were not hinting a match at WrestleMania, but teaching the kids how a promo out of nowhere is done. Kyle, or, I, yeah, I I learned that uh, 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 he is not happy with the pop up uh, uh, stunner that John Cena is doing. <laughs> I also learned that he doesn't realize that Dean Ambrose's finisher is a DDT. Uh, yeah, that yeah, I, I was waiting for that to be brought up. I'm like, are we really just doing the DDT, DDT discussion that I hear on every podcast? But Anyways, uh, Kyle learned that the champ buys the beers regardless of actually being champion and that Kevin Owens hates that his son's hero is John Cena. Uh, Jen Carlin's uh, wrestling breaks your heart. Steve says they also learned that uh, they are using Dean to make Roman accepted by more fans. They should be ashamed. <sighs> Passing on. Why? I, I, I don't know. I think it's smart. Sure. You know, whatever works. What about you, Wheels? You got something now? Yes, I do. I have learned... That even through floods and elimination chambers, Inspire Pro prevails. Yeah, you should know that already. Oh, there you go. There you <laughs> go. There you go. Check out Inspire Pro Wrestling whenever that In Their Blood show pops up on Smart Mark Video. We got a show in less than three weeks as well. There so, you yeah. go. Eamon is, uh, is tag teamed on commentary with Lance Hoyt, of all people. That just sounded so wrong, Sword. There you go. There you go. Uh, check out RWA this weekend, but look out for the DVD there because uh, one Papa Lunchbox is going to be on commentary, is the what? word. 
is the word on the streets. Uh, so that will be fun. And uh, also, uh, what else is coming up? So rwalive.com, check out what's going on there. Wheels is uh, Hot Wheels RWA, so you can get the insights mm-hmm. of a sound man uh, going on there. He's hiding behind his title. That's all right. It's all right. Uh, also, Mad Mike will be part of the Motley <laughs> crew that will be doing the Wednesday Night War, the midweek war. However the hell we're going to do them. Sometime Thursday, look for the Google Hangout for that. Uh, always entertaining. Their shows are up all over the place. Uh, Wrestling, Mania Super, or Wrestling Mayhem show, uh, Superfeed, and, of course, the Midweek War on uh, your iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeart. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just iTunes and Stitcher, I suppose, and other podcatchers where you can find it. Links at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Find out everything else. Bobby F. J. Town is also part of InsertCoinToBegin.com. Mm-hmm. Boss Battle. Great time talking video games with Chachi as well. Yep. And uh, who am I And missing? a special... Special person next week. Special person next week. Show. That's a tease. There you go. That's a tease. I also want to promote stamps.com slash WTF. No, 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 <laughs> no. Stamps, the- you no. guys, me undies are really comfortable. Pop a really lunchbox, really panelriot.com. Check out his new series on the 90s X Men cartoon uh, happening over there on his podcast and the Petri Line family, etc., etc. Uh, and uh, I have stuff going on at sorgatron.com, sorgatronmedia.com, the LB, and the Sorg Morning Afternoon Power Hour. We figure out life, for instance. Uh, basic Sorgonomics, awesomecast.net, everything going on, answer coin to begin.com. So much fun. Announcement coming soon from Chachi Plays about what we're going to be doing about that this year. PodCamp Pittsburgh. I talked with uh, somebody from Lipson talking about podcasting. And, uh, and, and, and you could see how I conduct an interview when I'm not feeling very well in front of 20 <laughs> people. That was very interesting. But uh, so much more. And please check out everything else. We are at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, uh, where you can subscribe and become part of the conversation. Facebook, at Mayhem Show on the Twitters, Google Plus as well. And you can drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0 or the email address... Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Thanks and this episode sickness. has been brought to you by Full Sail University. No, so Sail no, University. no, 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 no. What has been part, brought to you in part by Mike Allen at Mike Allen PR on the Twitters. Going late. That that There you go. Sorry about that. And buddy. Birchbox. And Birchbox. No, no, Bobby, no. Sonic Shakes, guys. Sonic uh, Shakes. Support the show. Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Slice on Broadway.com, our friends. ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS PittsburghWrestling.com. Support our friends, support the show. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.